Hi, this is Cindy from Total Home. I'm an interior designer and home stager, and I wanted to join with you today in having a conversation about stemware. So first and foremost, most of us have a collection of matching stemware as shown here this set of four and i don't know about you but do you ever get like terrified of breaking one because then you have that odd set uh, most of us will actually discard them if we happen to have an odd set potentially donate them to a charity like salvation army um, or to the ReStore, for example, two great places that I happen to love to donate my unused uh, household items. However, I want to give you a tip today for the odds and sods collection that you may end up having. First, if you do happen to have a matching set, nothing wrong with that, it's great. And when you're entertaining, it's nice on a table to set it up with your beautiful matching set. Everything looks picture perfect. And oftentimes you'll see that people will use these little glass charms and you simply stick that little charm around your stem and everyone can identify their glass. Another little creative tip for identifying your glass, I happen to think this is whimsical, it's also getting in touch with your child self, uh, or to use maybe a little sticker. I happen to have a strong love and affection for butterflies. Fasten or secure a little butterfly uh, sticker to your glass and everybody gets to have a little bit of fun. You could do stickers during the festive seasons, during the winter months, you can do snowmen, leaves, or fall, holly, stickers for Christmas season, whatever, have fun with it. Um, make sure that uh, you find a sticker that's not permanent if possible and that can peel quite easily or you're gonna end up finding yourself dealing with that. So if you happen to have stemware that doesn't match, I encourage you to have a little bit of fun. One way without having to use your charms or your stickers is to use different types of glass. So everybody gets to pick their preferred glass. And I think this is really pretty. You can find odds and sods like this at your local thrift stores. Go shopping, have some fun, and buy beautiful stemware that's an oddball. Keeps it out of the landfill, contributing to your local charity organization such as Salvation Army by contributing and purchasing items like this that often sit on the shelves for a long time. You can place this tray out on your counter or your table, your credenza, wherever you happen to be entertaining, and everyone gets to be creative and they get to pick their favorite. I actually did this recently for Thanksgiving. I hosted a Thanksgiving dinner here and I had a variety of different glasses out. They all were clear, but they were identifiable and everybody got to go and pick their glass and it was kind of fun. The other thing that you can do and even get a little bit more interesting is to add color to your life. Choosing stemware that has perhaps a different colored base. This one's quite pretty. It's gold, it's quite blingy. Um, this one's interesting. It has a little black base on it. This one's green. I think this is super fun and it's really inventive. This one's pink. How pretty is that one? It also has a, uh, a textured finish on the outside of the glass. I mean, how fun would it be to go to a dinner party and all the glasses are different and unique and have all sorts of different colors. It brings, injects some color into your dinner party, but it's also just a really fun way to be unique and different. My suggestion is to not discard those odds and sods in your stemware collection and actually create a collection of these beautiful, different and unique glasses. I just love them, I think they're so pretty. And it'll just be fun for your guests. These are a couple of techniques that I happen to use that I find really fun and spark some interest. Anyway, I do hope that today's Total Home Quick Tip was fun and that you gained some insight on some creative solutions for hosting a dinner party using your stemware. And if it did benefit you in any way, I would love it if you gave us a thumbs up. Uh, like and share the video, please, with anybody that you feel might uh, be interested in hearing this creative solution. Anyway, until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful day today.